In this video, we will look at how to perform a medical assessment using the acronym SAMPLE and OPQRS. Medical emergencies can range from simple situations where a patient might be having an asthma attack to a combination of factors causing the medical emergency. It is important for patrols who are assessing their patient to perform a thorough assessment using sample and OPQRST. Our instructor will first explain what sample and OPQRST stand for and how they are important. She will then perform a patient assessment incorporating both acronyms in her assessment. Please keep in mind this video is focusing on how to perform a medical assessment. No first aid treatment or interventions are rendered at any time throughout this scenario. Your medical patients will most likely not be found on the mountain and will rather be in the hotel or in the lodge itself. For this scenario, we're stating that our patient came into the patrol room to be seen for chest pain. So we can start with our scene size up. We already know our nature of illness as well as the number of patients we have. So we can jump right into the ABCs. You can see your patient. You can see that they have an airway. If they're talking to you and told you they had chest pain, you can see his chest rise and fall, and you can see his circulation where his skin is pink, warm, and dry. So we can jump right into our assessment here, finding out his chief complaint, and then diving further into that. Sir, my name is Sasha. I'm with Bear Creek Ski Patrol. Can I help you out today? Yes. What's going on? I'm having some pain and tightness in my chest. Okay. So we have his chief complaint of chest pain. Let's dive a little bit further into that with the OPQRST acronym we already learned. Can you tell me about the onset of this chest pain? Was it sudden or was it gradual? Mm, it was fairly sudden. Okay. And how about P? Does anything provoke or make your chest pain worse? No, it's pretty constant. Okay. Does anything palliate or make your chest pain better? No, still, I, like, I tried moving around, but nothing makes it feel better. Okay. Can you describe the quality of your chest pain? Mm, it's, it's pretty sharp. A sharp chest pain? Okay. Does that sharp chest pain radiate or move anywhere? Mm, it's in my shoulder a little bit, too. In your shoulder. Okay. Can you describe the severity of your chest pain on a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain you've ever had? Mm, it's about a 7 or an 8. A 7 or an 8. And now we'll go into the timing. When did your chest pain start? Mm, 45 minutes, maybe an hour ago. Okay, and has it been constant? Yeah. Okay. So we've gotten our OPQST, we've delved a little bit further into his complaints. It's important to get vital signs as well as a further history once you're into your secondary assessment. So while we're getting vital signs, we can ask our patient about his medical history using the sample acronym we learned before. So we already know about his signs and symptoms. He's having this chest pain that's moving. Do you have any allergies, sir? Uh, tree nuts. Tree nuts? Yeah. Okay. Do you take any medications? Yeah, uh, Tenanol for my blood pressure. Okay. So any other medications? No. No? Okay. So do you have any other medical conditions? No. Just the high blood pressure? Yeah. Okay. And how about the last thing that you ate? Uh, I had some pizza in the lodge about an hour ago. Okay. And can you tell me about the events leading up to what happened? Nothing. I mean, we were, we were skiing all morning and then we stopped for lunch. Okay. Now that we have our OPQRST describing what's been going on with his chest pain, as well as his sample history, we can move on into the treatment portion and get ready to transport this patient.